Go. over the top and push hard on his collarbones. Yeah, so push hard and use your reach, push out hard now like bench press. So yeah, just uh, yes, feel it. Like even just you pushing you felt sore. Yeah. But yeah, just like if he's in there just and he's too close for you and you're in a not dominant situation, push him out and come back in. Yeah, yeah sure, that's well. Found ground. Oh, it's fucked. Don't try and overpower a more powerful opponent. <laughs> Trunk. <laughs> it's 
got a bit foggy perched up on me. That's not working. Get there, so. Yep. Yep. And if it's not working, we get there. Grab this hand. And help. Yes. Right. Or even if you just grab your own wrist. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Good. I do like that half. I tried to catch it the best I could. That leg rates I was talking about when we were drunk. What I did, he was going backwards because I was trying to pull him. So I got his weight going backwards. I went in and hooked. my hips and duck out. Yeah. Alright. Yes. Not gonna be up against many taller or as or near as tall powerful opponents. 
is me that's doing it as Big Sean. Don't try and outpower them in that situation. Get out, try again. So I'm not going to let you get it easily. <laughs> been doing to me. Yep. Gets really aggressive with his fist when he does it, but he just goes up and goes, Rah! and two hand punches me in the chest. Am I allowed to do that or not really? Yeah, I'd prefer if he did open hands just while we're, <laughs> just if we're only grappling. It's okay. It's fine, like it's not an issue. Get out, get out. I'm controlling this and Not you. Yes, yeah, good. on the elbows if that's not working because he's got them too close you just really need to 
it's going to hurt your cheeks, but you got to do it. Push the biceps, push the elbows. Yeah, it's just like sort of loft around. Yeah. Here. Not sure what to do. And get your, get your stance underneath you and stand up. Me. If you can. No, no, him. With that really locked in clinch, it is hard to get out of. That's the whole point of it. Especially with a beard. Perfect position for it. Had him on the side here, like you're on his side, and his knee was right there, right? And you had your leg here. Yeah. From here, what you need to do is what's called a shuck. So, like elbow side. <laughs> so, if you tilt your legs out this way and rotate your body that way, you can break his posture. I mean, he's a bit of a limpet, so he might, might just koala you down, but it's a, it's a good way to, like, if you're on that cool. side. Oh, no. mm -hmm. Yeah, so push your knee into the back of theirs or into their thigh, whatever is available. You want to make At the sure same time, can... twisting your torso the other way. Yeah. So your lower legs go that way, but you're still stable. So it's that. So twisting the torso uh -huh. and the legs. Yeah. In yeah. yeah. Right. I learned that one in the Army Self Defense thing. They called that move the Elvis because everything was by catchwords. So one of them was, you know, you come in, you get them around under the arms, you get their arms up as much as you can, step to the side, then it was Elvis, hallelujah, because the idea was to get them out. So you take them down and then tell them, hallelujah, uh -huh. <laughs> then proceed to punch the living snot out of them. But... Does that work or not? Uh, a bit, yeah. That's just the way you were shaking it. It was like you had it better. Like, oh, snap! Yo, you alright? No, didn't yeah. you say with the Elvis you learned to. Yeah. And then throw? No, no, with the Elvis, it's just a single move. So you're here, yeah. and it's this way goes this way. It's just. Oh, okay, once. <laughs> yeah. You held on to me when I did that. Yeah. I just popped him back in the back. 
everything you're doing, you're doing so much power and strength. It must be so tiring. I'm just relaxed. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah. <laughs> I just had to grab something. Like, oh, panic! <laughs> You're too relaxed. <laughs> I can't see what you're gonna do. I can do anything. I need to be relaxed. It's part of being able to survive that long ride. It's oh, you bad. This is not a desirable situation to be in. in the nose. Yeah, I want it on your back. Oh shit, sorry. Right. Oh, I was thinking that you almost threw me. You almost threw me. Now you're gonna your back. Yeah, hey, I thought, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. You gotta get your head. Yeah. No leverage there. Yeah. And in that situation on the bow hut, in the list, go my back, I just go to the list. Yeah. And there's been situations, one time Big John had grabbed me, had my shield arm, and he grabbed onto my shield arm, with both arms, put this one under the list, and grabbed his wrist, and just had my shield arm there, and I'm like, I'm not getting that back. Mm. Uh, what am I going to do? Oh, so he's bare hugged the list with your shield in And because I had an opponent over here, I couldn't just turn it.
in. I just basically have power to them. <laughs> you were doing everything right, I was just being a bitch. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You did everything right, I was just being mean. <laughs> being very relaxed here which is why I could keep going. That first one against Mitch I realized I was trying way too hard. Just relax, let him tire himself out, wait yeah. for the mistake. Okay. That then he grabbed my leg and it took a lot of effort to get that foot back on the ground. <laughs> Time we do this, it's harder to throw you. Cool. You worked twice as hard as last time. Yeah. <laughs> we sat up to talking about how we can better fight. Yeah. I mean, look, when it comes to fighting you in the grapple, I've got all the advantages over you. Like, we've got the same reach, not the same height, so your advantages there are null and void, and I'm stronger. Yeah. I'm more experienced. I was so, trying to, I was really focusing on hitting my torso yeah, forward that one. it was good, it was good. Well, you were doing well and you made it very hard to close. I was, 
I've got it that once and it wasn't even clean then was that hip throw that I was I've been trying to see if it'd be useful which I'll show you what it is basically you come in here yeah. or in the underhook come in yeah. hop and lift you, it's better if you can get more of a bend on the knee I'm terrible at it because that would need so much strength in your chest especially in an arm and a palm and you got it on me yeah but I think that was a fluke that wasn't it no, he knows it. Oh, does he? Yeah. yeah. It's a well, judo throw called Ogoshi. Got into that same sort of position twice. The first time I violated him. Yeah. And then the second yeah. time he threw me. Yeah. And I mean, there's another one that you could use in pro fights called Drop C and Agi, which is a variant of a judo throw where in a pro fight, it doesn't count. Like, you're not out if you go to your knees. Because... <laughs>